Hello students. Hope you have done the practice work which was given to you in the previous video. We covered the topics ascending order, descending order, successor, predecessor and put the sign of greater than, smaller and equal numbers. Today I have brought a new topic for you that is about even numbers and odd numbers. What is even numbers? Even numbers are the numbers which could be distributed equally or evenly among two people. And odd numbers are the numbers which cannot be distributed equally or evenly among two people. Even numbers can be divided by two but odd numbers cannot be divided by two. If we have to distribute four toffees among two children, we could distribute them equally. Two toffees can be given, given to one child and the other two could be given to the other child. And now none is left here. But if we want to distribute the three pencils among two students, we could give one pencil here and one pencil here. Still one is remaining. We cannot give one pencil here or here equally. So the distribution here is unequal or uneven. So this is an odd number. I would also like to explain odd and even numbers through an activity which I have prepared for you. So here is the interesting activity for you. I have prepared some placards from numbers 1 to 10 which I am going to place here on this chart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And also I have made some circles here which I am going to place according to the numbers. For 1 we will place 1 circle. For 2 we are going to place 2 circles. Now what is the difference here? This circle is alone and is not in pair whereas number 2 is in pair. So odd number which is 1 does not has a pair whereas even number always have a pair. Similarly we are going to do for number 3. We are going to place 3 circles 1, 2 and 3. Since 3 is an odd number one circle is remaining and it does not has a pair. For number 4, we are going to place 4 circles. 2, 3, 4. Here the circles are in pair. For number 5, we are going to place 5 circles. 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, this circle is in pair, this circle is in pair, but this one is left alone. So, 5 is an odd number. Number 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. All the circles under number 6 are in pairs. So 6 is an even number. For number 7 we are going to place 7 circles. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This circle is in pair. This circle is in pair. This is in pair but this one is left alone. And does not has a pair. So 7 is an odd number. For number 8 we are going to place 8 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 
and 8. All the circles are in pair, so 8 is an odd number. Sorry, 8 is an even number. For 9, we are going to place 9 circles. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This circle has a pair. This circle also is in pair. This circle is in pair. This circle is in pair. But this one is left alone. So 9 is an odd number. For number 10, we are going to place 10 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All the circles are in pairs. So, 10 is an even number. So, we can see here that 1 does not have a pair. In 3, 1 circle is left alone and does not exist in pair here. Under 5, also 1 circle is left without a pair. 7, 1 circle is left without pairing. Similarly, for 9, 1 circle is left without pairing. So, the numbers which do not exist in pairs are odd numbers. But number 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, all the circles are in pairs. So, these are even numbers. Number 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are odd numbers, whereas number 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are even numbers. We are going to summarize what we have done about even and odd numbers. Even numbers and odd numbers. What is an even number? It's a number which is evenly shared. This means that the number is equal if it will be shared. The example of even numbers is 0, 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 and 24. And there are many other even numbers. Even numbers always end with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. So number 2 here, 12, 22, 32, 42. All the numbers ending with 2 are even numbers. Here the numbers ending with 4 are all even numbers. The numbers ending with 6 are even numbers. The numbers ending with 8 are even numbers. And the numbers ending with 0 are even numbers. So in the even numbers, they end with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. What is an odd number? A number having one left over. For example, if we have to share 5 apples, each person will get 2. The remaining one is called the leftover. That is, there is one remaining which cannot be given to anyone. The examples are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25 and many others. So odd numbers end with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. The numbers ending with 1, 11, 21, 31, 41 and the others, they are odd numbers. The numbers ending with 3 are odd numbers. The numbers ending with 5 are odd numbers. The numbers ending with 7 are odd numbers. 
and the numbers ending with 9 are odd numbers. Now 25 is ending with 5, so it is an odd number. 36 is ending with 6, so it is an even number. 100 is ending with 0, so it is an even number. The number 265 is ending with 5, so it is an odd number. The number 458 is ending with 8, so it is an even number. The number ending with 0 is an even number. 1000 is an even number. Hope you have understood the difference between even and odd numbers. Now, one more topic which I want to cover is the formation of numbers through digits. Suppose we have the digit 1, 4 and 9. The possible numbers which we can form through these digits are 149, 194, 419, 491, 914 and 941. These six numbers could be formed through these three digits. The next example is 6, 2, 5. Through these digits, we can form 256, 265, 526, 562, 625 and 652. These six possible numbers could be formed through the digits 6, 2 and 5. This was about the formation of numbers through digits. Now, I have prepared a worksheet for you which you have to practice. Now, we are going to meet in our next online class. Till then, stay at home, stay safe and use your time wisely. Thank you.